We'll go ahead and get started with the 10 a.m. cooperators meeting. I'd like everybody to please, so there's no, uh, no sound will be coming out of the speakers. This is simply for the YouTube uh, today. So just to let you know. So hopefully we talk loud enough, you can't hear us, let us know. Uh, I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the 10 a.m. cooperators meeting. My name is Greg Bratcher. I'm one of the liaison officers. Uh, you will also see out in our crowd our liaison officers are here. Um, so I uh, want to ask everybody to silence your phones, uh, your radios, and take any side conversations outside unless they need to be brought up in here, and we'll give everybody a chance here shortly to bring up any uh, issues. Um, the intent of the cooperators meeting is for uh, intel versus information. We have a lot of the team members here. If we have issues, we'd love to hear about them so we can get them uh, taken care of and straightened up in this meeting. Um, it's an opportunity to discuss any needs and discussion for any planning purposes. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the uh, operational briefing. All right, good morning. I'm Jed Gaines, Operations Section Chief with Team 5. Um, I'll go ahead and give you an operational update all around the fire, how we're doing, but I'll start with today. The, the Santa Ana winds have subsided, which is a good thing. We're able to start getting in and making good progress without the winds blowing. But with that, that comes the offshore wind. So now the wind's blowing in the opposite direction. We'll have breezes and gusts going the other way. So uh, one of our priorities today is up out of the Santa Paula area. We'll be um, trying to get that buttoned up on the east end, having that extend. We don't want that to extend any farther to the east towards Grimes Canyon. So we have a, a ton of crews. We have bulldozers in there. The hand crews are going direct where they can. It's very steep and rugged out there. So um, we're doing everything we can. We did work our night flying helicopters last night, um, all in this area, trying to get retardant and water drops all around that east side of the fire out of Santa Paula to get that buttoned up today. Um, as we move around, we're gonna continue direct line and improving it and our control line all the way down, trying to keep it out of the river bottom in there from having that mess go through the river bottom and towards the east in there. Um, we are working to get all control lines in and around here. We're trying diligently to get the, it, uh, it repopulated as quickly as we can. We understand that folks have been out for a while and they're eager to get in, but we have to make everything safe and we have to allow the utility companies to get in there and start working. So that is our goal to get that buttoned up. Down into Camarillo Heights down in here, crews uh, made good progress. It was um, not a dirty burn, but it just kind of burned house to house. It burned landscape to landscape. So there's a lot of work in there. The wood chips that got in and burned in and around structures. It's in that, the ice plant, the dead vegetation underneath the ornamental landscape. So we're having to get in there and make sure all that's extinguished. We have a, a ton of fire engines and crews in there. Uh, we do have uh, gas lines that are still actively burning uh, for structures that were lost in there. So we're working with the power, the gas company to get in there and get that stuff turned off. We're having to dig up where the shutoff valves are to get those turned off where we can. So we are working hard in there to get that done. There's still a lot of work to be done in and around the Camarillo Heights area to get that uh, buttoned up in there. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Barry Owens with the Mountain Incident, Ma Incident Management Team. Um, working as a safety here, our paramount uh, priorities are firefighter and civilian safety. Have enough safety officers out on the line and within camp. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you. Good morning, Jimmy Ryland, inter yeah. IMT5, Law Enforcement Liaison Officer. I'll just start off this presentation with we are having ongoing conversations with the Ventura County Sheriff's Department, with the Ventura County Fire Department, and our top priority is the need to get people back into their homes 
You've already heard from operations. There's a lot that needs to happen before we can make that happen. And if I can get the, the map up for, of the, the zones. Greg, the map. So the, this map w still shows the current uh, orders that are in place. As of right now, there will be no changes to these orders, but we are having conversations and we are having a meeting immediately following this for the players uh, who are have uh, interest in this to make a determination as to what we're going, going to be open and reason through some, some processes that need to happen before we can open these. For now, the only change is down here in zone seven, which is along Central Avenue, the 101 freeway and extension off Beardsley Avenue where the hotels, the Harley Davidson dealership is, that area has been moved into a warning at this point. We can expect some changes in the near future. So if you'll just visit the website, that's where the updates will come from the uh, PIOs and we appreciate your patience and your cooperation in this. Thank you. Okay, now we would like to go around the room and do introductions, and then also when you introduce yourself and where you're from, we'd also like to know any issues, comments, et cetera. Please remember to go ahead and use the microphone, speak into it. It is for the folks online. Morning, everyone. Gene Potkey, Damage Inspection Manager for the incident. Joe Morelli, I'm the fire marshal for Ventura County. Uh, good morning, Kyle Gordon, Southern California Edison. Uh, update for our infrastructure. You guys know we were in PSPS when this fire started, so we do have to inspect all those lines before they can be re-energized. Uh, we're working on getting damage assessment in there to evaluate where we're at as far as the, any of our infrastructure down and timing to get those back on. Uh, we're also gonna be working with the team here to get a helicopter up in the air pretty soon to help expedite that patrol process and get those lines back in service as soon as we can. Uh, other than that, end the report. Uh, Troy Whitman, Southern California Edison. Taylor Hilo, Southern California Edison. Good morning, I'm Matt Pearson. I'm with Cal Energy, the oil and gas operator on South Mountain. Uh, Jim Nguyen with uh, Southern California Ga Gas Company. Uh, we have communication up at South Mountain. We're trying to get that up and running, so thank you. Good morning, I'm Greta Varian. I'm the Chief Deputy Agriculture Commissioner for the Department of Agriculture Weights and Measures, and we will have teams out surveying for crop damage. We have two teams out today, and we'll have about five teams out next week. Raul Morales with Ventura Broadband, providing rural service uh, broadband, VoIP IP phones, uh, just communications. Joe Kennedy, damage inspection manager for the incident. Kevin Merck, DINS manager, trainee. Kelly Long, Ventura County Supervisor. On behalf of the Board of Supervisors, our cities, um, all of our electives, I just want to say thank you to everyone. These are homes that you're protecting that are our families and our ranches, our animals, and it means the world to us that you're here today, and I just want to say thank you very much. We are here for you. Um, reach out at any time. All the digits are in here. Thanks. Good morning, Savette Johnson, County CEO, County of Ventura. Again, I'm gonna echo just a huge thank you to everyone here. We wanna do anything we can to support and decrease barriers and challenges you may face. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Atticus Reyes from the Office of Assembly Member Steve Bennett, represent Western Ventura County up in the state legislature. Here if you all need anything uh, from the state legislature, thank you. Good morning, Keith Grola representing the community of Fillmore. And I just want to say thank you for continually looking at the evac zones and, and right sizing. Thank you. Good morning, Vanessa Cruz, Ventura County Ag Commissioner's Office. Morning, uh, Rigo Vargas, Public Health Director. Good morning, Paragon, uh, Director of Environmental Health and Safety for Cal Energy, Oil and Gas Operator, South Mountain. 
Jason Della Torre, Ventura County Building and Safety. My main goal here is to share information with the assessment teams for CAL FIRE and our teams and uh, know when we can get out uh, into the burn zones and uh, start doing our assessments. Morning, Caitlin Carey, City of Camarillo. I'm the code manager here with our building official. Same thing, we're uh, waiting to go out and do our damage assessment. I'm Todd Jezrek, I'm the building official for City of Camarillo. Good morning, uh, Jeanette Sanchez Palacios, Ventura County CEO's office, and echoing, thank you for everything that you're doing. Appreciate it. Good morning, Stephanie Ramirez Zarate, District Director for Senator Monique Limon. Uh, thank you for everything, and I'm also here as a liaison to the state. I'm Rob Masterson, uh, Battalion Chief with Shaleda, we're Insurance Resources. Good morning, Align Moda, uh, Shaleda Insurance Resources. Uh, we have three engines uh, helping with mitigation and putting out some of that smoldering stuff around the structures. Thank you guys for having us. Good morning, Ross Fillmore with Wildfire Defense Systems Insurance Resources, um, representing Assurant, Home Site, Travelers, and uh, Nationwide Ag and Personal. John Burningham, liaison to, uh, for Capstone Fire and Rescue Management. We're representing Pure Insurance and USAA. Uh, Ryan Gadenzi with Caltrans, helping with the traffic control on the state highways. Tim Lanquist, Ventura County Sheriff's Operations. Rashad Rahman, Ventura County Sheriff's Emergency Services. If there's anybody else we missed that would like to speak, please raise your hand. Paul Santos, Terminal Company, South Mountain. Thank you everyone for the introductions and comments. I just wanted to make sure if there wasn't any questions. We have a lot of the team functions here if anybody specifically has any questions or concerns. Okay, with hearing none, um, before we go to our uh, closing comments from our IC, I wanna remind everybody, tomorrow we're gonna be moving this meeting over to the McBride Hall. And, uh, and then we're also gonna have a Teams link uh, for you guys. And then also anybody who has missed, there's QR codes on the wall. So if you guys please get that and get signed up and get on our list, we'll make sure you get any information. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to uh, closing comments for with the team I see. That's how we get to stage right there, so. Safety. So, uh, hi, my name is Todd Hopkins. I'm one of the Unified Incident Commanders uh, for the Mountain Incident, um, along with our, I have my partner over here, Chief Parker, one of the Unified ICs, and then uh, one of our sheriffs, who's not here right now, is also one of our Unified Commanders. Um, first, thank you for being here. Um, please use this meeting if you do have any questions at all. Uh, reach out to any team member, uh, part of the incident management team. Uh, so we can address any concerns or anything that uh, any needs that you have. Uh, this is very important uh, to the incident management team being here, um, having that invitation from Ventura County to come in and support all you. So we're here for you. So please let us know anything that we can do. Apologize about the uh, echoing today. It's uh, a little bit better when we have this whole room full. The sound's not bouncing off everyone. So we'll get that cleaned up for you. But thank you for being here. Um, and we're here to support you, so uh, I guess thank you. And someone hold my hand to get down, so. <laughs> thank you, Chief Hopkins. Uh, once again, we thank everybody for being here. Remember tomorrow, 10 a.m. at the McBride Hall. It's just the building right next door to us. Please, anybody hit the QR codes if you have not gotten on our list. There's one on each wall. Please take care of that. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget to turn on your phones and your radios.